Hi guys, thank you so much for watching um, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on birth control and my thoughts on birth control and um, the side effects of birth control. Also, at the end of this video, you will know if birth control is for you or if it's not for you. The first thing I want to talk about is the, the effects that birth control give to you. Um, birth control basically... It has a lot of side effects such as mood swings, like breakouts in your face, um, what else? You get very emotional and those are one of the things that I have gone through with birth control. Um, for me, also birth control, with birth control comes a loss of sex drive which is crazy because how are you going to be on birth control when you don't when you know you're having a, a you know a loss of sex drive and it's it's really crazy but birth control is to me it did not it did not turn out well um at the beginning um when i first started birth control at the beginning i was around 128 pounds 100 and 127 to 129 and in one year, I gained 30 pounds. And one year, I took birth control nonstop. It was just every month, every month, every month, every month, birth control. And I did take the pills. And the the brand that I took, um, which I didn't know, I did not know much about birth control. So pretty much when I went to the doctors, they just gave me what what was very low in estrogen and progestin. And that one was that one is called microgestin f120 and that is what they gave me um mind you i did not know much of birth control so it was what they you know it was what the doctor gave me and that's what i took anything that prevented me with anything that prevented me from pregnancy was okay to me at that time and so i was on it for one year and then um i got off of it because i was just i'm not going to take birth control anymore i want to be off of it because i was having so I was having mood swings. I was I wasn't happy with with the way that I was being and how it turned out. So I got off of it for a while, and then I realized that I did not want to pretty much have you know get pregnant at my age. I was still in high school, and I did not want to have a baby. So I got back on birth control. It was a different doctor. It was this time it was a gynecologist that I went to, and he he sat down with me and he he pretty much told me about all the different birth controls that there are which there mind you i i ha, i before i i never sat with the doctor and and discussed this so sitting with this doctor was like okay you know i i actually know what is going inside my body so we went he went over the he went over the pills he went over the implant and he went over the the ring he went over the iud um i wanted to get on the iud i was not able to because it, it can mess he mentioned that it can mess up my uterus so i was like i don't want that because i want to have babies one day um so said no to that was not even you know was not even capable of putting one of those on um and after 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 getting off of the pill I ended up going back on the pill again so right after I got off of it I was off for like three four months and then when I went to the doctors I got on it right back right back again which my body was probably like what are you doing to me like decide what you want you know you want to be off of it or you want to be on it so um, I was on it not too long ago um, actually I think it was like I was on it for like I was on it like a week ago and I'm not on it anymore which is which is perfectly fine perfectly fine to me it makes me happy because I feel like my body is starting to you know being normal again um uh they put me when I went to this doctor he put me on the Zara Z-A-R-A-H that's how it's spelled and I've never it was doing good to me um 
I did not see a difference in, in like body, like weight in my body. I still remained the same how I was before. Um, so it did not make me gain weight. But when I did go to the doctors not too long ago, I mentioned to the doctors that I was on that pill. And, you know, I was having some side effects, which was like headaches and stuff like that. So she did mention that that pill does give headaches. So I do not recommend that pill because, I mean, it, it could be different on, on everyone. I'm not going to say that it's going to be, you know, every, every certain woman is going to have headaches, but I did have headaches and it was like really bad. I thought I had vision problems. They took an exam um, and I, my vision is perfectly fine. That is a side effect of that type of Sarah birth control. Um, also, one time I did get off of it. When I was in Micah Just 120, I never bled. I and when I stopped Micah Just 120, actually, I ne I never did bleed. Now I'm actually off of it, and I got my period, and so it, everything is fine. Also, one of the things that it does do, it does make your period period super 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 irregular. Like one one month, you'll probably have it twice, and you'll be like, why am I having my period again? And second month you'll just you'll have it early in the month and you know you think that you're going to get it again next month at the same time but you you really won't it's just off it's pretty much whenever it wants to come sometimes i was already in my last pill my last pills and i didn't have my period i you know um sometimes you'll miss your period for one month and you're like i you know i can't i can't be pregnant because i'm taking birth control so it's pretty much just the birth control that's messing with you my appetite remained the same my appetite did not change with the microgestin it did change because i did gain weight but with the sarah one um it remained the same i'm actually now now is when i actually do not have an appetite when i'm off of it which is weird going back to when i went to when i went to the doctors uh he went when he did go over those different types of birth controls with me i did refuse um to go on the the one that goes on your arm i i refused uh oh there's a shot i refused that i have friends that have had the shots and they've gained crazy amount of weight trust me i do not want to gain weight that's that's my biggest fear to gain weight like more than i already am i did not have a good experience with birth control i'm not sure a lot of a lot of other people do like it um but birth control basically is just adding more hormones to your body that you don't really need um and a lot of women out there have many negative things to say about birth control because you're acting perfectly fine and you're being yourself and then you get on on hormones it's just hormones hormones and back back of hormones and more hormones into your body that you know i for me i just feel like it's not being me and it's not my body like you know like i my body already has the progestin and estrogen that it needs it doesn't need any more and i understand this is to prevent pregnancy and at the beginning i was like i do not care what type of birth control it is um i want to take it the reason why i did act that way was because i didn't know any better like i knew that you know like this is the way it has to be i have to be on birth control because there's no other way um but honestly, after trying the pill and knowing that every other type of birth control out there has the same exact hormones, I know, I know myself that hormones are not for me. An extra amount of hormone in my body is not for me. And like I said, it all depends on the, on the woman. It all depends on how it reacts on that type of person. But to me, on my body it did not it did not react as i was expecting and i'm still trying to figure out what is what is wrong with me what is wrong with my body um it, it brings depression like i said mood swings it's just horrible now if you've never tried birth control if you've never if you've never been on it and you are planning on being on birth control Honestly, just visit your doctor, your gynecologist, and go over it with them. Sit down with them and be like, okay, um, 
please be completely honest with me tell me how you think this will work and if you see if you do if you do pick the pills over any other type of birth control make sure that you are on it for a couple of months maybe at, at least three to four months and see if it turns out well if it does not turn out well you make sure that you change to another type of pill and that is the bad thing about birth control you cannot be on the pill for one week and expect to see the change that you you know, um, the change that you want to see. You have to be on it for a certain amount of months in order to see that change. And that everyone told me, everyone in my family was telling me, okay, try a different type of birth control, but it's just that I'm not going to be on one type one type of pill for three, three to four months to then get on another type of pill. Like my, I don't see my body as a test. Like, you know, try this one this month or try this one from three to four months. I, I just don't see my body that way. So I finally stopped taking birth control. I'm not on it anymore. And I am glad that I do not have to take, I do not have to take any pills every single night. Hopefully one day, hopefully one day after I do have my kids, I will be back on birth control. Um, and that will be the IUD, the, uh, the copper IUD that I was not able to be you know that i was not able to be put on that is the one that i want after but after i have my kids because the iud you cannot get it if your doctor is a good doctor they will tell you that you cannot get the iud because it's not for you if you have not had kids the iud is not for you and it's just going to bring more consequences in your life consequences that you do not want like having a baby or messing up your uterus it's just really bad um so then again guys it all depends on what you want to get on recommend visit a doctor that they know what they're speaking they know what they're saying and they know their stuff make sure it's a gynecologist i wish you the best of luck i really do wish you the best of luck um with birth control itself because it's it's not it's it's not what your body needs but i understand that it's to prevent pregnancy and anyone anyone will get on birth control just to prevent pregnancy like i know there's so many people out there and i would be one of them if it would not mess up my body so bad so thank you guys so much for watching and make sure that you subscribe and like my video and share it if you really did like it i do I do like the way that you guys are supporting me so far. It really means a lot to me. That's why I'm bringing you more and more of me and what I really think and just basically everything that makes me happy and everything that makes me comfortable to talk about. So yeah, bye.